Hey, my name is Matt Storr, and I repair saxophones for a living. Today, I would like to show you, well, today, if you own a gold-plated SML saxophone, I'm probably going to break your heart. Because what I want to show you is that, aside from a few uh, exhibition horns, I do not believe that SML actually made gold-plated saxophones. Uh, now, that doesn't mean there might be a few out there, but the majority of the ones you see look like this. You've got some flat uh, gold, and you've got kind of a matte brushed finish on the rest of the horn. Um, and this was SML's top-of-the-line finish. It looks great, but it is not actually gold. What it is is PERMA gold, P-E-R-M-A gold. And you can Google this and find out more about it. It's actually a finish that's still used today, although I don't believe it's ever been used on musical instruments other than SML. And what it is, is a zinc dichromate plating over zinc plating. And you can see this when you look at spots like here on the thumb rest where it's been worn through. That silver, unlike on normal gold plating where that would actually be silver underneath gold, that is zinc. And the dichromate plating over top is starting to flake off. And the dichromate plating will flake rather than wear through slowly like normal uh, plating would. And another thing it'll do is burn. Now, this horn, I'm doing something rather unusual where I'm showing you a horn before I work on it uh, so that I can illustrate this. The zinc dichromate plating will actually burn, much like lacquer. So if it's heated up too much for soldering or if someone is very careless when they're doing pad work, they can actually burn through it, which is what has happened here when someone did a pretty rough job uh, resoldering this neck tenon. And you can see underneath that there's some brass showing through and some of the underlying zinc plating, which does not burn. Uh, and then some around here, you can see the solder that they didn't clean up. So if you have a, quote, gold-plated SML saxophone, and it looks like this one does, a nice buttery yellow, very bright, uh, it's probably, well, it's definitely um, the perma gold finish, which is not actually gold. Uh, on the plus side, it lasts a very long time and looks very good doing it. You never have to polish it because it doesn't tarnish because it's not actually gold. Uh, on the minus side, it is not gold and it will burn if you have to do any soldering. And things to look for if, you, if you're wondering if yours is one of them as well, does it look like this instrument? Is it really, really bright and you never had to polish it? If you do polish it, does anything change? Uh, and are there like crackles in the finish like you can see there in the keys a little bit uh, is there speckling and a wear pattern much like you'd see with a very thick lacquer which is basically how this stuff wears it's kind of like a thick uh, paint that will almost chip uh, rather than wear through um, although like i said it's very hardy and it looks great so there you have it sml permagold plating um, I first heard this from Brian at getasax.com. I'd always wondered about this finish because the first one of these I owned um, was actually one just like this one. And it's common on these horns for this um, neck brace to be pushed in. When the neck gets pulled down, it pushes in on this side. And when you push it back out, a lot of times the solder lets go. So you have to resolder it. Um, and the one I owned had that. And when I resoldered it, the gold plate, which is what I thought it was at the time, uh, burned. I was very surprised to see that. And then I was also surprised to see that I couldn't polish it to make it look any better. So I had a feeling that it wasn't gold, but I just didn't know enough to know what it was. Um, but Brian at getasax.com somehow figured out this mystery and shared it with me. And I've done a little bit more research. And yep. That's how it is. So if you've got a gold-plated SML, you don't have a gold-plated SML anymore after watching this. Although if you do have um, an SML that looks different, it's probably going to be a flat finish on the whole thing, burnished rather than uh, brushed like you see here. You can see on, I'm trying to get the light so that it doesn't like shine too much. You can see this inside the engraving and inside the nameplate here is a flat finish, but you can see around here is kind of a brushed finish. If you have a saxophone that you think is actually gold, I would love to hear from you. I would love to see um, what your horn looks like. And I would also like to know the serial number, because um, I'm trying to figure out if SML made gold-plated saxophones uh, for public consumption, and if they did, when that would be.
So that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Matt Storr. I repair saxophones for a living and break the hearts of people who own gold-plated SMLs. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. You can leave a comment here on Facebook. You can email me through my website. Uh, you can give me a call. I always love talking saxophone and uh, love to help you any way I can. Thanks for watching.